Hello Galaxy Note fans, my name is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff here today, and I have something that is incredibly special and something I'm so excited about, you guys. You guys have no idea. So, I am proud to present you with the Mugen Power Battery for the Galaxy Note. This is 5400 milliamp hours. This is more than twice as much as the 2500 milliamp hour battery that's in the Galaxy Note itself. As you can see, it's very thin. So I would really love to talk to you guys about my results, the real day-to-day -day use of this guy, and all the capabilities that it actually has. In one short word or phrase, I would like to say is this is, quite frankly, the most, uh, it is the all day, everyday battery that you can do whatever you need to with your note, however long you need to with your note and not run out of power. So complete, almost laptop replacement. So let's get into this. This is, this is really cool. This, I don't get excited about a lot of stuff really often, but this, this is awesome. <laughs> foremost, I would really love to thank Mugen Battery so very much for sending this over for me to review so that it makes this review possible. The reason I wanted to get this particular battery for review is that out in day-to-day -day use, we all have our smartphones. Our smartphones are extremely important to us. I mean, think about this. There are seriously no more payphones. I haven't seen a payphone ever anywhere, have you? Maybe on a street walk somewhere and I go to pick up the receiver and find out it doesn't work anyway. So really battery life is the bane of human, human existence these days. It's kind of sad, I wish that weren't true, but unfortunately it is. And something like the Galaxy Note, a lot of people will get this phone because they simply want a phone that is extremely powerful, has an awesome screen real estate, and just offers so many options. It's almost like a laptop replacement without actually having to carry around a tablet or a laptop. So it's right in between. Of course, the only problem is that since the screen is so huge, it sucks battery life like crazy. Shh, I'm talking here. So of course, battery life goes down very fast. The Galaxy Note has a pretty good battery by itself. 2,500 milliamp hours is no sweat, and it lasts most people through the day. It lasted me through the day, but of course, not without some apprehension. I didn't want to do certain things. I didn't want to turn Bluetooth on or Wi-Fi on for too long. I didn't want to do too much internet browsing because I realized that I was going to be stuck at school all day. There's not any plugs really around for me to plug my phone in. That's a major inconvenience as it is. So it's what is the solution to that? Of course, the first thing I could think of was an extended battery. And I've loved Mugen for years. I've had ever since the HX4700 Pocket PC. Maybe many of you guys would probably clap right now if you know what I'm talking about, you know, the Pocket PC era. I had their batteries ever since then and I get the most fantastic results. So of course, I had to go to Mugen and ask for the battery for the Galaxy Note. And I really wanted to see what my difference in experience would be from just the normal battery to this Gigantor battery. And I don't regret this. This was an awesome experience. And I have benchmarks. I have scenarios that I can talk to you about. I really want to get into the new form factor so that you guys can figure out whether you want to deal with that or not. It's just been it's been a fantastic experience. So here is the Galaxy Note now with this gigantic battery on. And I know that people joke about the Galaxy Note being a tablet, but now it is effectively a tablet. This, I love this. This is, this is so cool. So looking at results, using it as a tablet, let's say, and could also be considered light use because you're not using it at, with the 3G antenna on, just the Wi-Fi on, and just using it throughout the day as you would a tablet. I got two days and 15 hours of use. This is, while using it, you know, what do you guys use your tablets for? Think about this. You are constantly probably checking email, you playing games, probably watching a couple YouTube videos, watching a movie or so, just stuff like that. That's what you would normally do on a tablet. Two days and 15 hours of pretty good use. Still, I would consider this not even heavy use. This is just, I had times where I would just leave it in my purse and wouldn't even pay attention to it for several hours. So two days and 15 hours. That's, that answers your question. If you want to use this now as a tablet with this battery, you can use it as a tablet. But I did create two other scenarios. 
one in which I would take the battery off midday and use it throughout the day very heavily. And then it would go and pour over to a next day and I wanted to see that what that would be like. And then I did a situation where I would take it off first thing in the morning and just use it straight throughout the day to see where, what I would be getting. So first case scenario, using it half throughout the day where you're taking it off, you're checking email, you're calling people, you're texting. That's just, This is what I do all day. I, I um, respond to your guys' email. I talk on Gmail chat. This is a guilty pleasure of mine for like four hours with various people. Very, very fun. So I'm able to do all of that and still hit overnight. It still goes like, I don't know, let's give 10 hours overnight and pours into the next day. I was able to get, with very heavy use, for me, I mean, you can get an idea with what I've described, one day and seven hours. And looking at screen time, I was able to get 1.7 hours and 51 minutes. And as the battery had become more uh, initialized over time, I had gotten the next time. One day, nine hours of being the phone being used and eight hours and 36 minutes of screen time. That's crazy, 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 crazy. So once you hit something that's where you're not using overnight and you just want to use it from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, I started averaging 16 hours of the phone being used from start to end. And this is all day heavy use and nine hours of screen time. Nine hours, you guys, now of screen time. So this has completely changed the experience that I've had with the Galaxy Note. This is what I've been looking for. This has been something that I've been wishing for all the time with smartphones. I've had various smartphones and, you know, they just have the regular battery. And the battery dies about halfway through the day if you're using it as heavily as I do as a business tool, essentially. So, crazy. About 16 hours averaged. And I'm going to show you some of the charts as well. And nine hours of screen time. I mean, this starts to look more like an iPad with a phone. This is, this is good. I have to applaud you, Mugen. Thank you so much for making a battery that really helps and is a very good quality battery as well. So I did a, you know, a video test, a video drain test as well. And I started from 100%. I always use Harry Potter videos, you know, like Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince movie is two hours, 33 minutes and 31 seconds. Running that at full brightness, because that's what I had put it on, it had drained 30% of the battery life. So basically from 100% to 70% and ran the entire video, drained only 30% at full brightness. Holy cow. If you want to now use this as a device to go with you, just say that you're in like going on planes or you're constantly going somewhere on business trips and you would like to play games or watch movies and you're on layover, this is perfect. You don't have to worry about looking around and stepping over people on their chairs to try to find a socket somewhere or sitting over by the bathroom where there's really strange people. So it's just, this is fantastic. You can charge your phone, go on your flights, not worry about the battery discharging all the way. You can watch movies constantly, use the screen constantly, and you're still getting about nine hours of use. And if you're going to be going all day and carrying over to the next day, just say you had charged it halfway through the day, it's at 100%, it's able to last through the night with no issue whatsoever. This battery is crazy. So it be expecting your results are going to vary, of course, because this isn't a complete, um, scientific test, benchmark test, but you're going to be getting about 16 hours of battery and nine hours of screen time. Now, of course I did do the flip side where you go and you do an actual benchmark. I went to the Android market and I had downloaded a simple battery benchmark, which is just called battery benchmark. And basically this battery benchmark will oscillate between Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on, and turning off and on the GPS and oscillating all these different things and turning on and off the screen. And it does this constantly until it dies. What I had really liked about this particular benchmark test and showed me that it was actually a pretty reliable benchmark test is that, when I will show you the graph for this as well, is that it's a, pretty much a flat slope, which means it's just flat constant use all throughout the day doing those same things over and over again. So I had put it overnight just to sit. I'd hoped it would just charge. Um, by the time I'd come back 12 hours later to it, this stupid thing was still running strong at 45%. I'm like, you know what? Okay, uh, I can't do this. I need to have my phone with me. Luckily, since it does have that solid slope, I was able just to 
calculate what the screen on time would have been anyway. Uh, so if it's a solid slope, you can pick one point on the line and look at zero and just see, okay, I know where it's going to die, obviously. So I was still getting 16 hours and about nine hours of screen time. So if that isn't proof enough for you, if you want a scientific test, you know, between actual user experience, which I find incredibly important to a benchmark test, I don't know what else will make you happy. I'm still getting about 16 hours on average of screen time and nine, 16 hours of battery life and nine hours of screen time. The one thing that I can say of why I like to use day-to-day -day use tests is that when you're oftentimes when you're using things like benchmarks, they're not entirely true to day-to-day -to -day use. They don't emulate every single experience that a person's going to have, you know, turning off the phone at times of no signal, this or that. Um, so I think it's incredibly effective to test the battery as I have, where I'm using it as a normal user, playing games, watching movies on the internet, doing all these crazy things all day long, and also, in addition, using a battery benchmark like I have done. A lot of you guys aren't gonna use your phones consistently like I've been doing, and having it on for 16, using it all day, 16 hours, which is what I've done. So I would expect you guys to get even more than what I've been getting to be able to get over a day of use. If you guys are light users, you guys are gonna be getting well over a day of use. So this is a fantastic battery. I completely recommend it. It's completely changed my experience with the Galaxy Note. I was at a point of just wanting to get a new phone because that's how I am, I want a new phone. Uh, I like things that are new all the time, but this has made my phone an invaluable thing to throw away. I, I can't, I really love this now. It has a stylus and the screen time now lasts forever. So this is something I'm gonna be keeping now in my pocket for quite some time. I love this. Thank you, Mugen, so much for creating a battery that makes sense. Now for a pocket test. I know you guys like that one. For the girl jean test, you can see these are quite tight fitting jeans. Uh, this is now the Galaxy Note in my pocket. This is, you know, normal without the crazy Galaxy Note. And that adds quite a bit of bulk there. And I still walk around like this because I'm cool like that. I don't care about this big bulge that's now in my pocket. I don't really mind it. Uh, I'm sure you guys who have bigger jeans, it's not gonna really bother you as well, but be informed that this thickness does add a little bit of weight, a half a pound of weight in your pocket. So keep that in mind. You're not going to be wanting to put anything in your back pocket like this anymore. This is not, this is no, uh, no, not happening. So I went in my dad's room and found a pair of actually his pants. Yes, I'm a college student. I still live at home. I'm graduating this quarter. I'll make myself useful to any of you guys who like to make those types of jokes, but these are huge. I'm sure I can actually fit into these without taking off my pants. So this, this, this is a good look for me. This looks nice. Pulling these aside here, let's take the Galaxy Note with the big battery on now and set it in pocket. Now, you know what? I hate you guys. You guys all get these awesome huge pants with these big baggy pockets. And uh, I don't actually, where is it? I don't see a problem still you guys. So with this half pounder, maybe you want to wear a belt or something. It doesn't make my pants fall down. So you guys, I don't see why you guys would have any issue. Although half of you guys like to wear your pants down your butt. So, that could present a problem with a half pound phone now in your pocket. So wear pants that fit you, yeah. Uh, if you guys are wearing tight jeans like mine, expect the exact same result that I'm having. All right, for up close comparisons, you can see that here now is this back cover. Uh, normally the casing or the back cover would stop right about here. And you can see that this creates more than twice the thickness on this phone. Now. Of course, you've got all your cutouts still. There is no type of refraction or bounce back with the camera, so that works just fine now. You can see that it has quite an opening. And the speaker is actually quite nice. Now, when you set the phone down, it since this actual speaker inside is down pretty far, it creates a nice, uh, I guess, echoing back for the sound so that even if it <clears throat> is covered, you can still hear the sound. So if it's sitting down at a table or if it's on top of a blanket or something, you can still hear the sound because the speaker is 
way far down in here and the sound is still projecting within this cavernous battery cover. Now, I was showing you guys that nice back finish. If you can see that, those little bumps, this really creates a nice feeling in hand. So no worries now about dropping it. The kickstand is plastic. That's one thing that I should say is that you should be careful with the kickstand. Not If you shove it in your pocket, be careful that it doesn't come apart from your jeans. Otherwise, you might end up bending it back and forth in a place. It's also has, it's covered in chrome. If you can see this line here, when you set it down on the table, it's not recessed at all. So it starts to scratch that up. That doesn't bother me. I don't care. That's another thing is that now... Since it does have this really nice rugged backing, I feel like I can just put my phone down on anything. I'm not even putting this in a case anymore either. I mean, I'm quite happy with just how it is. <clears throat> when you put the phone down and you have the stand out, you can set it like so and not worry about the chrome actually getting marked up. Reason being is that when you set it down, it doesn't touch the chrome at all. It actually will touch right here. So you can take that kickstand, put it out, put this down and it doesn't touch that chrome at all. Yeah, I do have this, this was just for comparisons. So feel free now to take your phone, sit it down, watch a movie. I really love that kickstand. Some of you might not care, but I think it's quite a valuable asset to such a big phone. So now you can see little itty bitty, itty bitty tiny phone there, which is actually a large phone and this guy, which is my big bully friend which lasts me all day now. Yay, I love you, Galaxy Note. He now needs a name. I'll call him Cornelius. So Cornelius is quite an awesome phone now. <clears throat> you guys, I want to show you battery differences. Now, to get this off, I did find this a little bit difficult, a little bit gimmicky. If you have nails, you can see I have nails. I don't know if you guys have nails, but the best thing to do is to take that first nail, slide it upward so it goes up past this little notch here, slide it up, slide the other one in right where it's supposed to be, and that's what helps you get it off. Now one thing that I noticed is that you have to be careful, is that sometimes this little guy right here likes to hang on to the phone, and I'm worried that it's going to uh, cause a problem in there, or th at least this might break off. This One of these guys did break off, if you can see that, uh, I hope they will replace battery covers because eventually these clips are probably going to break. This isn't one of the bigger ones, so it should be all right. But I find that a bit disconcerting, but it can be expected. So if you are taking it off, sometimes this will get stuck. Now the best way to put this on would actually be to line it up at the top, push it downward, and at the bottom you kind of do a push in there. You can feel that nice solid hooking in and then this side clicks. So there you are. It looks like it protrudes a little bit so it looks like if, as if it's not in all the way. You can see that there's a little bit of a lip. It is on all the way and it's very solid and doesn't come off. It's a really nice back cover. I do like this a lot. Now as far as the battery difference, if I can show you, did I break it? Nope. Just be careful when you're taking this off. Battery differences. Ah. Now, for sure, this battery takes about six hours to charge. That might change over time, but you can see that whew, that is big. It, this part here, it looks first to be about the same size as the actual first battery itself. And then it adds, you can see, it looks about twice as much. You know, one battery here and a little bit extra. So this is going to give you a little bit more than two times the battery power. As I had said, this is this is awesome. 5,400 milliamp hours, you guys. This is this is the good stuff. Now, when you are first initializing this battery, <clears throat> you guys don't just want to put on the charger and take it off when it says 100%. Don't ever do that. They instruct. They give you a little packet that tells you that the first couple times you need to initialize the battery, meaning you need to have it charged to. 100% and leave it on the charger for about 12 hours. So 12 hours total to charge the battery. Some they say eight hours would be all right. And you should be doing this for about four to five times. I say the more times I would, I would do five, which is what I did just so that it's now regulated normally and it will be able to hold a charge as it's supposed to. So don't cut corners with that. That is it's so, so important. And also 
I would recommend getting this battery from the website, which is MuganPowerBatteries.com, because a lot of retailers don't store batteries correctly, and the problem with that is then you buy a really expensive battery, and it wasn't stored correctly, so then it ends up having a lot diminished capacity, which is very frustrating. So get it through their website. I will put a link to them in the, their description, so you can find the product description page, and you can buy it from them yourself. The battery reels at, retails at about $100. I fully recommend this, you guys. I wouldn't mind paying out that $100 to have a fantastic battery that lasts me through the day. This is the nicest battery I've used. I love this. Really, you guys, check this out. MuganPowerBatteries.com. Fantastic. My name is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I hope you like this review. You guys can follow me on Twitter at I am Erica, which is at I am, which is one word, and then underscore Erica. So you guys can talk to me there. You guys can feel free to ask me all kinds of questions. Please, please do. I always get back to you as fast as I possibly can. Now I can, especially because I have this guy, you know, infinite battery power almost. Have an awesome day, you guys, and go and get one of these. Holy cow, really awesome.